In today's video, we are installing massive 21 inch Vorsteiner fully forged wheels on my G80 M3, but is 21 inches the right move or is it way too big? Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Today, we are super excited because after three months of planning, it is finally wheel day for our 2022 X-Drive G80 M3. Now, before we get into all the specs and why we chose these wheels, let's unbox them. Now, out of all of the possible wheel options for the G80 M3, none of them stood out to us quite like these wheels did. These wheels, first off, they're forged, they're light, they're strong, and they're freaking huge and even bigger than the wheels I have on my Raptor. Introducing the all new Vorsteiner VPX 101 forged monoblock wheels in liquid smoke. So as you can see, the VPX 101s from Vorsteiner look insane, and I can't wait to get these things installed on the car. But before we do so, we need to talk about some of the specs. So as you can see in the front, we are going to be running the 21 by 10 with an offset of a positive 22, which is going to take a 275 30 21 tire. And then in the rears with this amazing concave, we have the 21 by 11 with a positive 29 offset that's going to take a 295 25 21 tire. Now, as far as the sizing is concerned, I have never run larger than a 20 inch wheel on any car. On my F80, I have 20s and I think they look really good, but I've seen some pictures with a G80 with 21s and I think it gives it almost that like supercar wheel look, which I'm really excited for. Now, I do want to tell you that these are available in a 19 inch and also a 20 inch option, which is going to make it a lot easier to find tires. One thing that you may have a little difficulty with with the 21s is finding tire options. When I did my search and when I got my tires, there were only two options options on the market. So before you select your size, be sure to check out what tires you want to run. If you live somewhere where it's cold all the time and you want winter tires, you might want to size them down. If you live somewhere where it's warmer, maybe you live in Florida, or maybe you don't drive your car that much in the winter, then this size may be better for you. As far as the tires are concerned, we are going to be wrapping these in Michelin Pilot Sport 4Ss. Um, on the market right now, I found the Michelins and also the Pirellis at the time of filming this video. Um, but the uh, Pirellis suck. <laughs> so with that said, let's get these tires mounted and balanced and then we'll throw them on the car. All right, so don't judge me. This is my first time ever mounting this big of a wheel before. These things are massive, which makes it a little bit more challenging to mount, but we'll get it. As some of you know, I am currently on AST lowering springs for my G80 M3. That being said, what I want to do is I want to dial in the fitment to make sure that it is perfect. So I am going to be adding some key spacers and a wheel stud conversion kit. Um, to make sure that we have that perfect fitment. Now, Vorsteiner does a really good job at cutting these wheels in a way where they're going to work great if you're lowered or if you're on stock ride height, but I just wanna fine tune it that much more to make sure everything is absolutely perfect for the suspension setup that I currently have. 
All right, I'm going to start with a 12 mil. We're gonna see how the fitment is with that. These are hub centric, so they'll make sure everything sits perfect. Now, always be sure, protect your wheels. You can see my wheel socket here is well worn, well used, and it has protected many, many wheels. At this point, the wheel and spacer are on and fully torqued down and the fitment is spot on. So if you have AST lowering springs, this may be an ideal fitment for you. We also did the exact same thing in the back. We put a 12 mil on. Now, first I put a 15, but there was just a little bit too much poke for me. So we put the 12 and it looks unbelievable. Here's a comparison of how the wheels came and how we dialed in the fitment. At this point, everything is mounted, balanced, and on the car. We just got back from doing some pictures and some driving shots and as you can see, the 21 inch Vorsteiner VPX 101 forged wheels in liquid smoke look unbelievable on this Isle of Man 2022 G80 M3. Originally, I thought they were going to look a little bit too big, but I love the way that this looks. I love how you can see the brakes and all through it. I think all in all, it just fits the car so good. We sent out a couple pictures to a couple people and everyone said, wow, that looks incredible. And well, I have to agree. So are they too big? I don't think so. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Once again, my name is Brian, that's Zach, and Josh was helping us out earlier today with some pictures and some driving shots. If you like today's video, give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. And if you are interested in a set for your car, be sure to see the links down in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.